Hi, this is Ginger from My Sister Scrapper. Today I'm super excited to be a part of the release party for Arlene Hall's new pocket notebook die by Sizzix that she designed. So here's what I created with the die. Um, the die is really cute. It cuts a front and a back and then it even has a little closure. It has a pen holder if you want to make it a journal and even cuts the pages. And you can adjust the spine so it can be, you know, anywhere from really tiny to pretty big, like almost two inches, I think. So here's what I made. I did use the super darling brand new All Hallows Eve paper collection by Photoplay. There it is. And I used a lot of stickers and um, for this little project right here. So what I did on the front cover is um, I did some ink blending. I'm not the best ink blender, but I had a lot of fun playing with it. So I used um, the oxides in Spice Marmalade and another, oh, Abandoned, no, not Abandoned Coral, Spice Marmalade and I forget the other one, but I didn't have black soot, but I used my regular Distress Ink and black soot to go around and just kind of give it a lot of Halloween spooky glow. So on the front cover, um, I made a little shaker element that says Witch's Brew. And there's some little, some of them I glued down the stars and some little bats. And then there's some orange sequins and stars and bat sequins in there. This is a cute little uh, cut up. Is this a cut apart? Yes, a cut apart from the paper collection. No, 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 this is part of the ephemera pack from the paper collection. So I did use the stickers and the little ephemera pack. And this is a sticker from the sticker sheet, 31. And then this is a sticker that says, aren't you scared? There's a little heart there and I covered it up. It says, aren't you scared? There's a little bat. Um, I did add some really pretty glitter cardstock to the spine and then I kind of covered it up with some seam binding, but oh well, it's so cute. And there's the back, it says trick or treat. This is some more of the design paper here. So you open it up and I made mine, I know it's a pocket notebook, so you can do it as a journal, you can do it as a notepad holder. I mean, you just, the possibilities are endless with this die, it's so cool. But you know me, I'm kind of a mini album girl, so I kind of made a little pocket mini album to put uh, photos for Halloween in there for my grandbabies. Well, they're not babies anymore, but anyway. So you open it up on the inside front cover. Again, I used a three by four cutout. And I made a little flip page here. And there's a little sticker here that says creepy for your little thing. And I did do a little bag net closure here. There's another cute little sticker that says fright this way. And this is another part of the ephemera pack. Little frame with a cute little haunted house in there. So then um, on the front of each, I have one, two, I have three signatures in here. And on the fronts and the backs of the covers of the signatures, because I kind of did mine different, I just, I used the measurements for the pages to make my covers for my signatures and then I trimmed my pages down like a quarter of an inch just so they wouldn't stick outside when you fold them all together. So this is a uh, piece of ephemera right here and again another piece of ephemera right here and this is the inside of one of the frames and I just popped it all up on some foam tape, like little kitties. So you open it up and on the inside again this is a 3 by 4 card cute little uh, pattern paper here. So on the first page of each one of the booklets that I made is going to be this little photo mat or journal spot. And then I just added some stickers here. So we've got the cute little kitty and the jack lantern. And then on the back, I love these planes. So you can either put your photo here and journal here, or you could put another photo here and journal with a white pen would be cute or just add more photos. But I thought it'd be cute to put the larger photo here and then you can just write on here. Again, some stickers so they're really simple they're all pretty much the same they're plain here and just a little space right here and um, some cute little stickers this is eat drink and be scary and little kitty on top of the jack lantern little, cu little cupcake looks pretty yummy and so there's six pages in each one of the little booklets so it will hold quite a few photos love the little pumpkins and these are all stickers from the collection and so that's um, the back inside cover of the first signature. Again, another piece of ephemera, and then another piece of ephemera here, and right here. So the back, I left it with just the design paper. Super cute. I love the little punk in there. So on the front of the second signature, again, I went ahead and used the other ephemera. This is a 3 or 4 journal card. It says a wee bit wicked. And then this is a piece of ephemera that I popped up on foam types with the cute little witch. So you open this one up on the inside, and then I left this as a little text spot. It says, Drink Up Witches, and the cute little sticker from the sticker sheet. Little broom, little candelabra. <clears throat> and then, again, right here we have super cute little 
castle and those stars and then again same thing so I'll just flip through really quick some more stickers love the little pumpkin there I love the little glasses with the spider hanging out that was adorable and then on the back inside cover again a piece of ephemera and I did leave it open so if you want to make a tech spot there too this is another banner from the ephemera pack and, and the back of this one has cute little ghosts so over here is another 3x4 card. I just popped it up on phone tape. It says there's magic at night when pumpkins glow by moonlight. Super cute. Again, another piece of ephemera here that I just glued down. And I left it a tuck spot. Again here, another little piece of ephemera. It says spooky. I left that open. And then here we go. We got, oopsie. Love him. So spooky. I just kind of layered him on top. This is boo. Another piece of um, ephemera that I did leave open in case you wanted to tuck. A photo in there, not do any writing, but it's one of the cute little stickers. This is broom parking. This was, it said broom parking only, but I cut the only off so it would fit on my page. <laughs> I used a punch to punch out another tab. Again, I used one of the frames here and I kind of cut it up down to make it fit my little paper right here. This is Halloween night, another cute little banner that I left open. And on the back inside cover, again, some more cute little paper there. And this is a sticker I put on black card so I can fussy cut around it. And here's the back. I love this little sticker here, the little jack o' lantern. So I just laid out some design paper here. Now the back inside cover is the same fold out here. The cute little skeleton says, Creeping It Real, Not Too Old for Free Candy. Heck no, people. And then there's the back. So that's the cute little journal for the for Eileen Hall's new brand new pocket notebook as part of her new release party. So there you have it. Thanks for watching. Bye.